Final notice. Your account has been closed. Act now to avoid collections. We've been missing you because you've been missing us. <laughs> All right, that was pretty good, so I'll give him that one. You know, I seem to remember these people being a lot nicer when we first got together. But isn't that how a lot of relationships go? It all starts off sweet like rainbows and puppy kisses, and everybody is happy to be with each other. You enjoy spending time together and going out and having fun. So what went wrong? Well, when it comes to relationships with creditors, I can tell you exactly what went wrong an overwhelming majority of the time. You acted a fool. Now, see if the story sounds familiar. You get your first credit card, and it's usually whenever you're young and just starting out, and you realize that this is a big step, and you've got to be safe with it. So you decide you're only going to use it for emergencies or to maybe make reservations if you decide to take a trip because you always need credit cards for that. But first, you have to try it out. Well, you know, just to make sure it works. And it does. And it's so easy. <laughs> right on. Next thing you know, that card that was only going to be used for emergencies now is maxed out. But you know what? You've got all this neat stuff and it's only costing you like $25 a month minimum payment. Well, how cool is that? But you don't have that card anymore for those emergencies or those reservations. So what do you do? Well, you get another card. Duh. Five cards later, the only trip you've taken is to the Amazon. And the emergencies, well, they've all been solved with two-day free prime shipping. And then it happens. You finally have that crisis hit you. Regardless of what it is, you're not prepared for it. All of your credit cards are maxed out. And now when you try to get another one, you get declined because you have too many open accounts with too high balances. So all the money you had set aside to make those credit card payments now has to go toward that emergency because you have no other choice. This causes you to miss those payments and then you get hammered with late fees and over the limit fees. And those $25 and $50 a month minimum payments that you once had now become $75 and $125 a month minimum payment. And guess what? Next month is gonna be worse. The fact is, it wasn't the emergency that caused the setback. It was your reckless spending when you didn't have that emergency. That's what caused the problems. For almost 50% of us, we're in a position where we can't secure the best rates, maybe take advantage of special offers, or even secure a loan from a lender because of our credit score and undisciplined spending habits in the past. For some of us, it's nothing more than a little boo-boo. A Band-Aid will fix it. For others, you're kind of like evil Knievel jumping Caesar's palace and you're in a full-blown body cast, it's going to take some time to heal. But the good news is, credit can be repaired. And the first step to fixing the problem is to take ownership of the problem and correct those bad habits. Now, in this episode, the Burnouts will give you some tips to start that healing process. We're hopefully to give you some ideas and considerations to make those wise choices and practice those good habits and get you back on track. So hop on in, take a few hits off the information we pass around, because everybody knows the burnouts always have the good stuff. Time to match the gas and let's smoke them.
to the WK Burnout Studio. I'm Christina. And I'm Dustin. Alan's back there. He's back there. Yeah. He's always real quiet. Yeah. When the lights come on before he's bossy. But anyways. Yeah. (laughs) What are we going to talk about today, Christina? Today, we are going to talk about rebuilding and building credit. Oh, yeah. So we've touched on this a little bit, you know, in the past episodes, but some people just. We've said it before, just like you've said, bad Bad things things happen happen to good good people. people. Yes. So if that is something that you or your friends or whatever have, you know, been down, let's help you get back on track. Yeah. Now, we're not financial advisors. No, no. And this some of this stuff may be best for if uh, if you're starting out with not enough credit and you Mm -hmm. want to get going with stuff or if you've got a situation where you're like post bankruptcy or divorce or something Mm -hmm. like that, Mm -hmm. you know, but there's, there's a lot of stuff in that process that can be done differently. Yes. That all basically amounts to, you know, paying on time, on time, paying the stuff back. But here's, here's kind of our, our, uh, roadmap. Yep. So getting back to good, back to good, back to good. Yes. For that. Yep. I did. That's a, uh, Oh, Matchbox 20. There Gosh, go. darn it. All right. <laughs> and that's a good song, which I think Alan should play in the background. But I, we can't afford the copy. <laughs> no, that's, oh, you have to pay kidding. for that. Okay. It's like a bunch of money. That's, See, I don't know. <laughs> that's why our, all our songs are like classic <laughs> guitar. No, you know, because yeah, they still cost money, too. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's why you know Alan's that. back there. We're Bruce good. Springsteen for like every single intro and everything. But it's like, no, nah, you guys can't do that. Mm. Oh, sorry. Mm. Anyhow. Well, anyhow. Yeah. Rebuilding, building credit, rebuilding, building. Um, First thing we always know, pay on time, whatever that you have, do whatever you can to make sure your budget is made where you pay all of your bills on time. Okay, so in thinking about this, when you sign up for stuff or when you get something, Mm -hmm. uh, you get a a payment date when Mm -hmm. your payment will be. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure that your stuff lines up for like when you get paid to when that payment is here's what doesn't work. Okay. Your payment is the third of the month, right? And you send it in the mail on the third of the month. Yeah. No, dude, no, you, you have to yeah. send it. So it gets to them by the due date. They want the money right. in their hand on the due date. Yep. Right. Correct. So yep. if, when you get that initial credit card or loan and what, you know, whatever your payment date is Mm -hmm. that's what you have to plan for to have that out before then if you get paid on the first yeah and the payment has to come out of that you can't have a a due date of the first right yeah okay or the famous line of it's say it's due on the third well i don't get paid till the 16th then you need take the money from the 16th prior and have it yeah Yeah. it's don't don't get where you're sending it in after the 16th you know when you get paid do a, it's better to be a month ahead yeah. than a month behind. Yeah. Makes and it might, yeah. you might have to fight and dig to get that one month ahead. Yeah. But as soon as you do it, you're as good. soon as you do it, you're, you're, you're way better off. Mm-hmm. So like fo- yeah. focus on that stuff. I mean, not everybody's yeah. like, here's my huge check. I'm going to pay right. out, you know, it, but if you're working on just making payments on stuff, whatever mm-hmm. it is you have, your storage shed, your lawnmower, yep. whatever, pay Kubota. all that stuff. Yeah. Pay all that stuff on time. Yeah. On time means yep. they have it in their hand by the due date. Due date. Yep. So regardless of the mail, regardless of your transfer that you set up in your online banking account, it has to be so that the arrival date, even on holiday weekends and stuff. Mm-hmm. I know it's crazy, but it's not easy to do all this stuff. But yeah. once you do it, you're like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Just set it in stone and yeah. do not do not derail you know, you're from not gonna that. build or rebuild anything, sending the payment on the due date. Yeah, time. that's no. not going to work. No. Yeah. Another thing is do not get close to your your limit. So yeah. say your credit cards. So you have a. I'm just going to throw in a thousand dollar credit limit. Mm-hmm. Gas card. The gas card. We're going to go back to the gas. I love the <laughs> gas credit cards. They're the best. Yes. So you have a thousand dollar credit limit. The rule of thumb is 30% or below. So yeah. do not charge over $300. That's $300 yeah. for those that yeah. aren't math whizzes like us. Yeah. That's why <laughs> I kept it simple. Yeah. <laughs> um, but do not go over 30%. Yeah. As much as you, you know, and sometimes you may you may do that or go over or whatever. Pay that, pay that down. You know, if you have to carry a balance on it, pay it under your 30%. So right. it's right there. Mm-hmm. And here, here's kind of like a good way to set that all up, right? So the gas station credit card, you know, where you get some cents off per gallon, mm-hmm. use it at the gas station. It's got the gas station logo on the front of it. I really like those, I think. 
Um, you should but, be an affiliate or whatever that's guess, called. I don't know, but <laughs> well, here, here's the logic behind it. So you're rebuilding, you're reestablishing, you're getting your stuff back to good, right? Or good in the first place. Matchbox. Matchbox. One. One. Mm-hmm. Um, so gas, right? If ideally you want to pay off your credit card at the end, you know, at every due date, yeah. every month, mm-hmm. just pay it off, pay it off. It's really hard to do that when you've got like the Coles credit card and you're like KitchenAid mixer or, <laughs> you know, shoes and KitchenAid mixer or whatever <laughs> KitchenAid quality. I don't know. They don't, <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, so it's uh-huh. it's easier to get like seven, eight hundred bucks. And you're like, crap, I got to split this out over a few months or something mm-hmm. like that. But if you just use it for gas, mm-hmm. if you can't like pay off your gas at the end of every month with what you actually make, mm-hmm then you should probably like reevaluate where you're driving or yeah. what you're driving yeah. or like a few things, yeah. right? You're, you're, yeah. you're, you're not rebuilding. You're still sinking if that's right. like the case. Right. Yeah. But it's a good rule of thumb. You can count on that. You mm-hmm. can count on, you're going to spend that for sure. Mm-hmm. Regardless. Yep. Right. It's gas. And yep. we're in the Midwest. We use a lot of, we drive like some people commute crazy, crazy far. Yep. Um, and it's like old hat. It's, it's no big just, deal. Yeah. So no matter what the gas prices are, they have to go to work. You still have to go to, yeah, you yeah. still have to go to work. So, and it's a good way to help with like your, your kitchen table budget, your life budget. If you mm-hmm. have one card that you use just for gas, mm-hmm. that is like, oh, we have to have that. That is budgeted in every month because right, right now that's up there. That's a bunch yeah. and it's going to be there regardless. I mean, um, because let's, I'm not carpooling. Oh, no. I mean, even though my husband and I both work at the same place, <laughs> at the same place, listen, my sanity, <laughs> his sanity is right. worth way more yeah. than yeah. an extra 30, $40 a week that we, you know, spend driving separate, you know, in a week. So anyways, just make yeah. sure, you know, if you, like you said, if you're using your gas card and you are getting in a hole, you're digging yourself you're not using it responsibly. You're not, you know, don't just. Well, yeah. If you're using that much Come on, gas, buddies, I'll fill up your tank yeah, and your I mean, tank yeah, and your you're, tank. You're doing no. too much. You're going mm-hmm. overboard, yeah. right? If you just, if you set your thing that yeah. way. Other options, um, especially in the like building in the first place area is, uh, what is it where you, it's a secured yep. credit card. Yep. So like yep. your bank where you have your checking account, usually mm-hmm. you're like credit unions mm-hmm. do it, um, where you deposit a thousand dollars into this secured, secured. card. And they give you a credit card with a thousand dollar limit mm-hmm. that's backed by the thousand dollars that you deposited in there. Yep. That's for building that does build yes. stuff. Right. But yep. that's another option. If you just can't qualify for a gas station card, which yep. I love gas station. Yeah. But just an option. Yeah, absolutely. And it's don't think that, oh, God, I'm a secured card. Oh, I can't. What the heck? Yeah. On the front or anything. Just no, use you just use it it's okay. and it's, it helps it's, you it's get on you. track. It's like, what most people that have the credit cards that aren't secure, they have way higher interest rates anyhow. Yeah. So this is yeah. just building yeah. properly. So just, use it, you know, use it responsibly, build it up six months, 12 months, revisit with your bank or whoever that it's through and yeah. be like, Hey, you know, can I, whatever the case, whatever that they do, but those six or 12 months are going to go by anyway, go by anyways. You might yeah. as well be doing something yeah, good for your, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And if you're worried about if I have the card, I'm just going to spend it like crazy. Set one thing that you use it for. Just like Mm -hmm. I said, gas, gas, right? We were talking about vacation. Oh, yeah. uh, Like going on vacation. You have to have a credit card. You have to have Mm -hmm. a credit card, not Mm -hmm. a debit card. You can't use a debit card for a rental car. Yeah. Right. Right. If you're in Florida and get gas at a pump somewhere in Miami Mm -hmm. and you're it's 10 o'clock at night and your debit card gets flagged Mm -hmm. and you you haven't got your gas yet. I mean, you could be like in a crappy situation. So having a backup is good. Mm -hmm. So having a credit card of some kind, or at least something that will work in those circumstances, is pretty important. It's a sense of security, you know, because not only your account, I'm not saying your account gets hacked, but sometimes if you go out of state and your bank doesn't know oh, yeah, or they'll whatever. Look, they'll flag stuff. They'll, really they'll flag stuff yeah. and decline it. And then you're like, well, I was just getting like, yes, it's me. Yeah, you know, sometimes but, you have to call. Yeah. Sometimes you can text back, mm-hmm. but then sometimes it's like, you got to call us. I'm like, yes, I am in Florida, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. yeah. So it, yeah. it varies, I yeah. guess. Um, another thing that comes to mind is do not apply for too many loans. Oh my gosh. So you have this, you have this one time. weekend off and you're like, I'm going to go to <laughs> Nebraska furniture mart. To the John Deere dealership, <laughs> I'm going to go to the shed place uh-huh. and I'm going to, I'm going to find a car. <laughs> I'm going to finance each one of these places and get all this stuff at once. Yep. I mean, that that's going to, 
that gets everybody on edge. Like, oh man, is this guy going off the deep end? Mm -hmm. Is he just using it all up yeah. real quick? Cause that, that people do that. Like if they oh, have yeah. good credit and they're like, eh, screw it. Yep. Then they'll go like literally fight it's everything they can. And then be like, see ya. Yeah. You know, unsecured stuff, right? Yes. Stuff that can't be repoed like your Nebraska front. Well, yes. I mm -hmm. guess I don't know how that works. I think they treat that as a, it's just a credit card. So it's just, yeah, it just, yeah. they can't, they're not going to come knock on your door and get couch, your furniture. Right? Yeah. So yeah, there, there's, you know, that stuff. Well, that, and you know, you can't even people. Okay. So say you're going to, oh, I know I have a settlement coming or I know I have, you know, this big chunk of, I'm going to win the lottery in six months. So I'm going to go, let's go buy <laughs> this and that. I'm, it's going to be paid off, you know, yeah. here in six months. Sometimes stuff doesn't work we out. We hear, you know, like yeah. that people really do say, and that just don't, don't spend do that. it till you got it. Yeah. Right. So we're rebuilding. We're trying to do stuff right. Even if you do come into a windfall of money for whatever reason, mm -hmm. um, you like, you still are probably going to need your credit for something. So yes. take care of that business with your, yes. with your windfall that you've got. Yeah. And then use that windfall. If you still have it, you're in the perfect position mm -hmm. to go ahead and build stuff up so you can use credit in the future to right. accomplish your things. Right. And just think about like a lot of people, like, for instance, like us, we have kids. Well, when they grow up, they're going to need help building, you know, their credit. And one of the good ways or a easier way to do it is add them as an authorized user to a, a credit card Your that you currently have. Card. Yeah. 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 And it helps build, you know, their and plus their they're teenagers. Stuff. And if it says Phillips 66 on the front, I was like 30 before I realized you can use that anywhere. Right. It's not just good at Phillips yeah. 66, <laughs> but they'll think that it like just works at the gas right. station. So they won't go yeah. using it at the buckle or right. whatever. Yeah. The buckle. <laughs> the buckle yeah. matchbox the 20 we got a lot of references yeah. today we are we are <laughs> we're, on it we're showing our you showing our age you exactly heard. wait hold on dustin <laughs> what where's usher oh, no usher's not coming out usher was out earlier <laughs> but it has to be well it depends on what time it is if it's are you trying specifically to on me <laughs> if it is a certain time yeah. like seven o'clock on the dot where is usher at that point in time cruising the street wait in his drop top thank you yeah. cruising the street yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. They won't let then, me sing. Okay. I, I shouldn't sing either. Anyhow, credit. And stuff, yes, credit right? and stuff. Oh, fix the things, right? Yes. So yeah. you get a report free from each bureau mm -hmm. every year. You can get one, you know, where you can just log on, you can get your free report, print it off, go through it, and be like, yes, that's accurate. Yes, that's accurate. Mm, not so sure about that. Yeah. You know, if you're questioning it, definitely do something about it. Don't just be like, I don't know what that is when yeah. it comes time when yeah, you're you trying to apply for something. Right? Yes. Yeah. Nip it in the butt now. Oh, yeah, you know? exactly. But also you can't really fix the stuff that actually happened. Yes. Right. So Correct. if you're going to focus on stuff, you had a rough run, bad mm -hmm. patch, it's going to be there yep. and it's going to stay there for several years. Yep. Don't waste your time. Right. Just calling them to be like, hey, take these late payments off. Well, you were late. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How can you I know? get those off? What well, if no, I. Yeah. You have yeah. to pay on time yeah. instead yeah. of you have to go back in time and pay mm -hmm. those payments on time. Yep. Right. So. It, yeah. yeah, it's you're able if you have discrepancies, get those. Take them. You can yeah. go to go to care. town, get those fixed. Yes. Right. Yep. But if it's stuff that actually happened, you just have to not do that anymore. Yeah. And learn and go learn, yeah. live and learn. Right. Speaking of things that happen. So negative reports, negative impacts that are, can affect your Don't score. Worry. Yeah. Yeah. Words are hard today. It's Sorry. Okay. Um, what, you know, uh, late payments, seven years. Yeah. Um, judgments, seven years. Yeah. That stuff comes up a lot. Sometimes people don't know that that is going on their credit, mm -hmm. but yeah, if you have a judgment you a, against you for yeah, you anything, get a call from HR, Hey, I got, uh, I'm going to have to be taken blah, blah, blah out of your check. Garnishments as they yes. would be called. Yeah. yeah. And there's yeah. nothing you, you, you're just, yeah, that stuff's on there. there. Yeah. So it, I guess anything you can avoid, yep. you know, having that, that stuff on yep. there would be good restitution payments or what have you. All that. All yeah. That stuff. Seven. Everything is standard seven years. Right. Except, except for, for bankruptcy. Yeah. Ten. Ten years. Yeah. Ten. But, you know, don't let that. Don't let that just. Yeah, that, it shows up on your happens. report for ten years. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. like. Yeah. You can still do stuff after it's closed. Right. You can do stuff as soon as it's done being yep. closed. Just make sure you do the right stuff. Yep. 
Like yeah. that's re- if they see right after your bankruptcy that you've done everything right and been careful, mm-hmm. they can mm-hmm. see that. You can see it when you get your report. Mm-hmm. You can tell mm-hmm. this is when things changed. Yep. And the banks that see that in the future will yep. be like, OK, they've been perfect since, right. since they went through this. They yep. learned their lesson. Yep. It's all squared away now. They're good yep. to go. And we see people who have had a bankruptcy and then like four or five years ago and then have not done anything to build up. You know, and that's because yeah, they're nervous about the whole thing. Right. They don't want to get in that spot again. So right. I'm paying cash for everything. Yeah, no. I mean, you can that. that I get it. That's mm-hmm. that's a cool way to, but do a couple little things right. to gas to make card. it work at the gas card, right? Get a <laughs> yes. gas station gas credit card. Yeah. Phillips sixty. Do they still have Phillips sixty six? Do we have one in town? We do. I don't we have know. Phillips sixty six. Alan, do we have them? I don't know. We he don't won't answer. Okay. He wants us to move on. <laughs> <laughs> one one thing um, before we move into things that do not sh- show up on your credit report. Oh, yeah. Um, let's talk about, you know, student loans and medical bills. Mm-hmm. OK. Those fall into easily. Those are some things that you think, oh, they're deferred all, you know, what. And then all of a sudden you go in to apply for something or you get a letter that says, hey, you're 90 days past due. What? I didn't yeah. even know I ha- I went to that hospital. I didn't even know I had that student, that company, you know, taking care of my I student loans. I didn't think loans. those were coming due yet. Yeah, right. Whatever, whatever yeah. the case may be. Yeah. So that is a good rule of thumb to always print your credit report yeah. off. Yeah, yes. exactly. So you can see that because. Student loans, medical, medical stuff. Yep. That stuff's still real and shows up on things. Mm-hmm. So, yep. you know. It won't necessarily look. help your score. But it can hurt it real quick yeah, because yeah. medical bills, there's no it's straight to collections and yeah. downhill from there. Yeah. So you just make sure you, you know, keep an eye on that. Right. Um, Things some, that don't affect your score. Yes. Um, a prepaid card. Yeah. So like a, you just get a Walmart. Like it's a gift. That's a gift card. Right. Man, right. Well, or that's you can, a prepaid credit card. Yep. So yeah, like some of those, um, it's just a debit card. But yeah. some of those I think of. um I can't even Green think of it. Cards. I, that's yeah, what I was something kind of like stuff. that. That doesn't help. You yeah, know, that's, that's just that's not that's not helping. Yeah. That's just like a debit card. It's yeah. just an online checking, you know, checking account. Yeah. Um, there was something oh, like a buy here, pay here. Now, that's kind of iffy because I know some of them did not report in the past. But now some of them do. It just I, depends. It just like depends. they can still yeah. be buy here, pay here and not be self-financing everything. Right. Mm-hmm. So, I mean. You know, the dealerships, when you see them and we've talked about, sometimes that's what you need to do. That's yeah. what you have to do to have the wheels to go to the job, to get stuff right. right? It, yeah. That's why you it's start somewhere. Available. Yeah. You got to start somewhere. That's, that's why they're there. But mm-hmm. uh, you might, you know, can consider as you go, if you get things really well sorted and you mm-hmm. even have some cash down that mm-hmm. you can maybe start on an auto loan and get some good auto credit history going yeah. so that then you can achieve your dreams of like a, you know, crew cab Denali Dooley or whatever. Crew cab four wheel drive. Yeah, right. Starting, I need my new job. I start next week. I got to have a vehicle. <laughs> a vehicle. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's, there's, <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. You've, you've got resources to get your credit report. We've yep. talked about reviewing stuff on there. We've talked yep. about rebuilding. Yep. Um, there's also, we'll post information on how to file, uh, uh, the stuff. If you see stuff on your free credit report, that's yep. not right. Yep. Yep. Did we have the resource? It's pretty easy. Yeah. It's just website and, stuff yep. that you go to. So it'll just be a, a hyperlink, but just go in there and fill it out. Take the time to fill it out. Don't just. But yeah. If you've got stuff wrong, I yeah. mean, you, you, it might not be your fault in the first place, but it's mm-hmm. up to you to fix it. Mm-hmm. Right. Nobody's. Uh, and you can have the story to everybody you apply credit to be like, mm-hmm. Hey, so what that is, is and man, I care. Yeah. Christina cares. Yeah. Alan cares. Yeah. But the bank's like, no, it says it right here on yeah. the line 42.3. It says right there, it's not going to work. Yeah. So yeah. automatic decline. Yep. Well, you know, so that's, I'm just saying that we can even write the story and send it to them in yeah. comments and they'll be yeah. like, sorry, it's yeah. a system thing. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. No, based off previous, whatever. Yeah. I think, I mean, wapping up, like Dustin said, rebuilding, just pay your stuff on time. Make obviously. Sure it gets to them on time. Yes. Gets yeah. to them on time. Write your budget prior to, you know, all of that fun stuff before you go and apply for anything. But stay consistent. Yeah. It's not it's not the end of the time. It's not sorry. It's not the end of the road. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, yeah. It just you have to be patient. You know, it 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 takes longer to rebuild than it does to to wreck to wreck it. Yeah. Yeah. Although 
It takes a little while to wreck it, but yeah, still it's you put an effort either way. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah. And just stay on track. Yeah. I think that's kind of how quick and Alan's kind of looking at us like. Okay. Good time. Good All time. right. But, well, anyways, thank you guys. If yeah. you um, found this informative, I got it. I had to think about it. <laughs> I had to think about it. If you found this informative, um, you know, or even got a little humor out of it, please Maybe. share, like, subscribe. Um, we truly appreciate it. And uh, we will swing on by and pick you up next week. Thanks, guys. Thanks, bye. bye. This has been a WK Burnouts production.